Hi all folks, this is Max from a, um, MaxusSHacks.com. So today we're going to learn to put um, Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch, the Touch version. Um, the simple, I'll show you the two ways. And uh, what you want to do is um, basically put your phone into fast boot. This is the free way. Um, and I'll show you the free way first. And... Uh, Basically, we're gonna put our phone into um, uh, reboot and uh, into recovery mode. You can either do this if you have a custom ROM, and go to recovery and uh, hit OK, or what you can do is just power off, and then um, we'll do. This is the Nexus S 4G, and this is the Nexus S. Power it off, and we'll do both at the same time. And you're going to hold down the volume up and the power button together on my left. And also for the one on my right, I'm going to do power, uh, volume up and power button. Hold them down together until you see this. Um, but this is called the fast boot mode. It'll say fast boot. And we'll do our um, Nexus S 4G first. You can tell by the Qualcomm sticker there. Qualcomm gets a royalty. And we're going to connect. Um, to our computer and we're gonna go to our computer real quick next what you're gonna do is download this um, zip file called Nexus S recovery touch zip and if you unzip it you'll get a bunch of files like this um, and put it in the root directory of your C drive and make sure you have a uh, drivers installed you can go to control panel hardware and sound um, if you go to device manager should be able to find uh, for Windows. You should be able to find Samsung Android phone or uh, it's Android Composite ADB ADB interface, something like ADB. Then you're all good. Yeah. If you don't have drivers installed, you can either install Samsung keys or install drivers on my site at nexusshacks.com. And once you've got done that done, um, basically we're just gonna flash um, this file. Actually, we don't need that. Let me get rid of that one. Open up a command prompt by typing CMD in star search. And uh, basically, you're going to browse to the directory of Nexus S Recovery Touch. Um, so you just, that's actually a backslash, the opposite of this. This is my Korean font. Korean font uh, backslash is actually a one symbol, which is like a dollar symbol for Korean currency. And it looks like a W with a slash, but it's actually opposite that slash. So. Um, type the Nexus S Recovery Touch, right, where where um, all your files are for that. And um, basically here, just type fastboot, space flash, space recovery, space... Re There's two, two versions, the one with the 4G and one without it. So I've got the 4G here, um, so I'm going to just flash the... The other 4G. Oops. Fast boot. Flash. Recovery. And then space recovery. And you can use it. If you hit the tap key, it's going to fill in for you. And if there's more than one combination, it's going to get the next one. So do that for Nexus S 4G. Alright. That's flash. That's how you do it for Nexus S 4G. Alright. And then also. Whoops. Okay. Just getting over for Nexus S. Um, so next up I'm going to do the Nexus S, the regular Nexus S. So it's going to be the same command except without the 4G. So dot .img like that. Enter and that will flash the recovery. And let's go back to our phones. And let's launch a uh, clockwork, uh, clockwork mod touch um, from our phones. The Nexus S 4G on the left, the Nexus S. The reason why you have to flash the right files is because um, if you have like a Nexus S 4G on the Nexus regular Nexus S, when you try to flash a ROM for the uh, Nexus S 4G on the regular Nexus S, it won't flash it. So that's why you need the correct uh, recoveries. And go to recovery for both and hit the power button. And voila, we have Clockwork Mod Touch for both phones, Nexus S 4G and the Nexus S. So, 
This makes it simpler for installing ROMs. You can even install ROMs with two hands, two ROMs at the two, same time. The coolest thing about it is when you're browsing directories, you can just go straight to it and just hit any of the buttons, and it's very easy to go back. You can also use the uh, volume buttons on here, but it now makes your things a little bit easier, um, faster. So that's how you do it for the free.